Hi, another amazing trip. Look what I got to paint. Now when I first got here, when I first got here there was this enormous swell, gigantic, and right there they were barreling waves all day and all night. So I want to share with you my paintings from the trip. <clears throat> so beautiful. We had sunny skies and then uh, stormy. And as I look through, through all these pieces, I noticed that all the waves are a nice little right, aren't they? <laughs> Very challenging, moving waves. Again, I want to thank my uh, my friends for <clears throat> inviting me to stay. I like this one. Please. I love the tropics. And I love the challenge of moving things. You know, I mean, sunlight's one thing, but... <clears throat> waves. This one's very loose. It's trying to captures a really abstract composition and the color harmonies super challenging I in no way claiming to have captured it but I'm pretty proud of this little body of work Sorry. And there are a whole bunch of tide pools, beautiful. All on black, well, not black, but if you think it's black, lava. And we had some overcast. But still, you can see in the background that beautiful right wave barreling. This is like a blowhole type of thing. And every now and then it would just burst up over the horizon. Trying to capture that mist. Not the actual mist, well, actually just trying to capture the change of value on the lava. A lot of clo close value stuff in there, too. It's not just white, foam makes shadow, right? Right. Then there's these really misty days. Different time of the day. Get you right inside that barrel. Another little wave coming in the back. And sometimes you just have this urgency. I like this one a lot. Looking up through that, less mist, right? Looking up through that wave and just right into the coral underneath it. Pouring down through the rocks. 
Yeah, I like this one a lot. This might be one of my favorites. And then every night, as well as every morning, a beautiful sunrise. This is a sunset. <laughs> Cheesy, but you gotta paint a sunset. Try doing that in just a few minutes. Really gotta use your memory a lot in this too because the colors are changing, lights changing, but you can't chase it too much, right? And then we move over to just looking on the shoreline, different stuff. Thought that flag was kind of interesting. And then what I really realized was everything around it to support it was even more interesting. Getting really, you can get really abstract with the palm instead of painting each little stupid frond paint the panels of warm and cool and the light coming through. I like that a lot. When I first started this, I was like, what the hell am I doing? Actually, that's how I start every painting. <laughs> start out with this big idea, this sketch, and then all of a sudden, it just becomes something else. And then the last one, that was yesterday. The last one was yesterday as well, and I think this is one of my best tide pool ones. That pink out there is also lava, but it's covered with this calcified, I don't know, salt, seawater, barnacles. Well, not barnacles, but just calcified. This one's got some really nice paint on it. I painted almost this whole painting. Before I touched any detail, I painted the whole thing with a big giant inch and a half brush. Kind of like Bob Ross. And then I just came in and teched it out with some brushes and moved the paint around on the surface. Kind of composed it as I went, like this little lower corner. Just felt like I needed something to lead, it, lead you in. Are you let in? Well, that's my show from Hawaii. I'll run back through it for you. Kona, Kailua, Ko Kailua Kona. Kine. Sunset. January 1st, 2013. Love this one. Love this one. I think I had a good trip. The blow hole. Really gotta, when you're painting these lava things, you really gotta think about light, the light source, what direction it's coming from. Because you get lost, there's so much of it out there. And you wanna draw every little crack and crevice. I'm crawling around on the grass right now, in case you're wondering why I'm grunting. And then finally, my first day, walked out the door and that's what I saw. A crazy right barrel, dude. One more view at all of this. It's about 8 in the morning right now. You can't see, but right down there, all the surfers are already lined up. I see 12 surfers. And that's my show.